Iran's attack on Israel could be bad for Russia's war in Ukraine. Iran's attack on Israel on Saturday is bad not only for the Middle East, but also for Russia's war in Ukraine, Business Insider writes referring to the opinion of Michel Grice, a senior policy researcher at RAND, an American think tank. Although it has been argued that Moscow benefits from chaos in the Middle East, diverting Western attention and resources from Ukraine, it stands to lose a great deal if the Israel-Hamas conflict escalates into a wider war. Grice wrote, thus she notes that Iran is now a critical military supplier to Russia. An Iranian ghost fleet has also been carrying Russian oil around the world since the war in Ukraine started, keeping Moscow's oil revenue flowing. But should Iran become embroiled in a wider conflict, it wouldn't be able to provide the same level of support to Russia. A broader regional conflict, particularly if it involves direct conflict between Israel and Iran, would limit Iran's ability to continue serving a military supplier to Russia, wrote Grice. Furthermore, Tehran may demand more support when Russia has limited capacity to provide it. She added, moreover, a broader Middle East conflict could boost China's clout in the region at Moscow's expense. According to the expert, even though Russia is preoccupied with the war in Ukraine, President Vladimir Putin has still managed to position himself as a potential power broker in the Middle East amid the Israel-Hamas war. But Putin's plan could fall apart should the war spill over regionally, since Beijing is also jostling to play peacemaker. Russia could be especially sensitive to Chinese attempts to encroach on its influence in the Middle East, Grice wrote in her commentary. Since Russia's heavily sanctioned economy is already reliant on China, it would be even more exposed to Beijing's whims should Moscow not be able to hang onto any shred of global influence it still has, the analyst believes. A total of 400 to 500 missiles and drones will be fired at Israel from Iran, Iraq, Syria, southern Lebanon and the Houthis, ABC News outlet reported, citing an unnamed U.S. official. The source said that the bulk of missiles will be launched from the territory of Iran. The drones are the same kind used in Ukraine, according to the source. Meanwhile, U.S. media also report that President Joe Biden will address the nation from the Oval Office today. According to the latest reports, Biden has already arrived in the Oval Office. Israeli Defense Forces reported on Saturday night that Iran launched drones and cruise missiles at Israel. Amid the escalation of the tension in the region, Egypt, Yemen, Iraq closed their air paces. Meanwhile, U.S. Air Force fighter jets have been scrambled over Iraq and Jordan to combat Iranian drones, the Al Qahira Al Akbariya TV channel reported. <laughs> شوف 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 جايين طلقا جايين طلقا هاي منا 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 هلا بيهن هلا شوف 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 هلا بيهن هلا 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 بيهن وين ما يطيحن خي يطيحن اضرب ولا تبالي اضرب يا مهدي صاروخ ايراني صاروخ ايراني بس تطيح هاي درونات هاشم والله وانا بس خلي اشوف ذاك 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 يا عمو يا هذي هذا ابو هاي درونات من الناصري هاي اسرائيل
אני בא. לא, תירגעו, הכל בסדר. תירגעו.